Hello, Milkshake Monkey. Hello. Are you ready for a new adventure? Oh, yes. I have my adventure book packed in my backpack and I can't wait to add a new stamp. Today, you're off to Wiltshire to find out how a lock works and what they're used for. Oh, I have a lock on my front door. Is that what you mean? No, Monkey. A different kind of lock. A canal lock. Ooh, that sounds fun. You'll need your life jacket. Ready? Steady. Go. Top nonners. to Wiltshire Monkey and welcome to Cane Hill Locks. But they don't look anything like the locks on my doors. Of course they don't, Monkey. These are canal locks and here at Cane Hill there are 16 of them. Can you see them all in a line going up the hill? Well, oh, 16? <laughs> well, they look like white garden fences on top of big wooden doors to me. Those big wooden doors, Monkey, are lock gates. They're really heavy. And like garden gates, they open and close. Oh, what, what are lock gates for? Lock gates are used to control the flow of water downhill. When they're closed, they work just like a dam, stopping water from passing. When the water level on either side of a lock gate is different, you cannot open them. But if the water level on both sides is the same, you can. Lock keepers use these gates to help them move boats up and down hills. What? I never knew boats could go up and down hills. Oh, that sounds really exciting. <laughs> how do they do that? Why don't we find Richard and he can explain how canal locks work. Oh, Richard? Where is he? That way, Monkey. Oh, hello, are you Richard? I am Monkey and welcome to Cane Hill. Oh, thank you very much. It's, it is beautiful here. You do seem to have a lot of locks. Why have you got so many? Well, we've got 16 locks here, mm. Monkey, to help boats move from the bottom of the hill to the top of the hill. So how does a lock actually work? Well, if you were to think of a lock as a bath, right. we've got taps at one end yes. and a plug at the other. I see. And if we put the plug in at one end, and open the taps at the other, and then we fill the bath with water. I see. So, so you put the plug in and turn the taps on, the bath fills up and the boat floats up to the top. So they go up like a step of water at a time. That's right, Monkey. And then how does the boat go downhill? Well, the bath at that point is full, Monkey. So we close the gates behind the boat. Yes. Then we let the water out through the plug. Oh, yes, of course. You pull the plug out and the water goes down and the boat goes down. That's right, Monkey. And then when the boat's at the same level as the water below it, we open the gates and let the boat through. But how do you, um, how do you open the gates or pull the plug out? Well, we've got a special key it's called a windlass. A windlass? I think I understand, Ooh, but I'd really like to have a look. <laughs> it's really busy here at Cane Hill Locks. Why don't you help Richard, Monkey? Big push, go Absolutely, on. Absolutely, Monkey. Oh, dear. I think he oh. might need a hand. Do you need a hand? Good idea, Monkey. Oh, well done, Monkey. Oh. Come on, ready to push. Oh, I'm push trying. Your push your back into it. <laughs> oh, good work. Well done, Monkey. That's the gate closed. Oh, well done, you. Oh, what happens next? Well, now I've got to go to the other gates and I've got to open the paddles. Richard is turning on the taps, so the lock fills up ready for the next boat. That didn't take long to fill up. Oh. And so now we can open the gates and let the boat through. That's right. So the boat's in the bathtub, <laughs> or it the is. lock. It is. And you've shut the gates that end. I have. I've shut the gates there. They're using the windlass, mm -hmm. the special key, to wind up the paddles. And that lifts the plug out and then the water goes out and the boat goes down. Oh, yes. The water that side of the gate is very high and the water in the lock is very low. The bathtub is empty. Oh, and now the gates are open and the boat's on its merry way. It's a busy job being a lock keeper, especially when there are 16 locks to open and close. Good work, Richard. And well done, Monkey. 
Canal locks are amazing. They use water to move boats up and down hills. <laughs> oh, shall we find out what the milkshakers are going to make today? Good idea, monkey. The milkshakers are making something very different today with Mr Baker. They're not using scissors or glue. They're making something by folding paper. Folding it in half and folding corners to corners. <laughs> Now Mr Baker is pushing each milkshaker's paper inside out. Oh, look! They're making boats! Now all that's left to do is to see if they float. They do! Good work, milkshakers. They are some great and soggy boats. Oh, I have had a top Nana's day here at the locks. Me too. Can you remember what we've learnt today? Yes, I can. Canal locks help boats travel up and down hills by changing the levels of the water. Very good. Oh, and canal locks have big gates called lock gates that only open when the water is the same level on both sides. Well done. That's right. One more thing. Oh, um... What do you use to open the paddles or the plug on a lock? Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, this is, this is top known as this is. Locks can be opened with a special key called a windlass. Brilliant! I think that's canal locks complete. Oh, yes. Why don't we give it an amazing adventure stamp? <sighs> yes. <laughs> oh, oh, do you think we could go for a ride on a canal boat now? Sure. It's time for us to go now. Say goodbye. <laughs> OK. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Hey, what's